Hey everybody, it's Zach from MyShire Farm and I am back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. In this video, we're going to continue the process of all about the colors. It is a playlist we're doing on our YouTube channel and we are going through every color and jumbo that we have here at MyShire Farm and giving you all the information we have. Average weight at full maturity, average egg size, uh, lifespan, production, how many eggs they lay in a year. Uh, average hatch rate on shipped eggs, uh, how to sex them, what they look like, and so much more. So today's video is going to be about the pansy. So I'm very excited about it. Uh, before I begin, please support our channel by just hitting that like button. Uh, that's all you got to do. I'd really appreciate it. If you would like, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification as well. If you do that, you'll uh, be notified for future videos and I've got a ton of videos coming your way. And if there are questions I have not answered on these videos, feel free to join me every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm. I go live right at 7 o'clock and we do a live Q&A. We have a lot of fun. We do some giveaways. Uh, I usually have a topic. Um, we do an egg availability update. We do all kinds of fun stuff every Sunday at 7 p.m. So check that out. I hope to see you there. But without boring you and further delay, let's talk about the pansy. It is a beautiful quail. Um, usually what I do is if it is a quail you cannot feather sex, I only show you one. This time I'm going to show you two if I can hold both of them at the same time without them freaking out. There we go. So, there we go. One is a male and one is a female. Can you tell which one is which? No, you cannot. Um, you might be able to, it's kind of, you can kind of see the head on this one's a little bit darker, but this is the hen, this is the male. Um, so they are vent sexable, uh, they're not feather sexable, so you need to wait to about six to eight weeks. Uh, I will show them to you one more time. So this is one type of the pansy that we have. And then this is just a little bit of a variation. This one's a little bit darker, um, but they're both pansies. So this is considered to be part of the rare uh, variety that we, that we offer here at MyShire Farm. I did a video on our playlist the hatching process, I believe. In the last video is uh, the three different types of quail that we carry here at MyShire Farm. Now, we specialize only in Caternix quail, but we broke them down as far as jumbos, rares, and MyShire colors. And then I kind of explained which one is which. Uh, and so this would be part of the rare collection. But let's get into some facts, shall we? So, you need to vent sex them, uh, usually between six to eight weeks. Uh, the, the males typically will start maturing at about five weeks for the pansies, um, but you can feather sex them between six to eight weeks. The average weight uh, is between eight and eight and a half ounces. Uh, the hens are a little bit larger than the males. Uh, the average egg size is between nine to 10 grams. Um, the average hatch, or I'm sorry, the hatch the true hatch percentage, which we've talked about before, um, is 70 to 75%. What that means mainly is if you hatch out 100 pansies, 70 to 75% of them will come out pansy. The other 25 to 30% will not be pansy. So let's talk about what else you could get. Well, you can get Italians. You can get autumn ambers. Um, you could get pharaohs. Those are the majority of the ones that would hatch out. You could also get autumn ambers. You could also get Tibetans. And then every once in a while you get a weird one every once in a while, but the majority would be Italian or Pharaoh, possibly autumn amber. The rest would be kind of here and there and in between. Um, but that's what else would hatch out, which is not too bad. They're the, most of the other ones that would hatch out from these would be feather sexable, um, which is always a fun thing to, to do anyway. How to get the color. The color was produced. Um, however, I strongly, strongly recommend that you just start out with them. Uh, it takes literally years 
uh, to produce pansies, literally. Um, you gotta breed it and then crossbreed it and then breed it with something else and then breed it back and breed it, it would take a long time. So the best way to, to start with pansies is to have pansies. Um, let's see, what else other, what other information can I give you? Average lifespan. The average lifespan is one year and nine months. And the egg production is pretty good. It's between 270 and 290 a year. 290 the first year, 270 the second. Um, the average hatch rate on shipped eggs is 71%. And again, the pansies are rare uh, color here at My Shire Farm. Uh, they're very nice. We use the pansies to make a couple different colors, uh, such as sparklies and pansy fees. Uh, the next video I do will be about the sparklies. Uh, my goal is to be posting at least twice a week for the next couple of weeks to get this all about the color uh, playlist done for you um, and, uh, and to start some new things for next year. So I'm very excited about that. So again, please support the channel by hitting that like button. Stay tuned, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because I've got a lot of new videos coming your way. Autumn Ambers, Sparklies, Tuxedos. Uh, snowies and so much more so I'm very excited about it uh, please stay tuned and remember every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we go live to answer questions to help you on your journey with Caternix quail thanks stay safe and God bless